there. How are you? Did you miss me? <laughs> um, odds are you haven't even noticed that I've not been uploading. Ah! So, um, I took about two, two and a half months off uploading. Now, I didn't stop reading and I didn't stop filming. I just did not edit and upload. So, you know, um, uh, <laughs> yeah, I've been kind of reading like a bloody sponge, so, uh, I've, yeah, I've, I've done a lot of reading and a lot of filming, so that's gonna be fun for me <laughs> in the next, I guess, couple of weeks, um, editing all the footage. Yay! Anyway, so, for my first video back-ish, uh, from my little mini break, uh, I thought I'd do a little monthly wrap-up. However, um, it's been like three months, so I'm gonna do May, June, and July, um, all in one go. All the books I'm gonna mention, um, have either already been in a vlog, uh, or be coming in a vlog in the next couple of weeks or so. So, I'm not gonna mention a whole lot about the books because I think there's quite a lot of books. I'm not gonna lie, I think there's quite a lot of books. So, yeah, let's just <laughs> get into my little uh, reading journal thing and uh, look up May? May. May. Okay, so, um, first off, I'm just gonna take them from like, yeah, so series will not be together, but most likely not be together, but... Okay, so the first three books here are Goddess Crown by Shade Lapeet, Lily's Just Fine by Gil Stewart, and The Love Interest by Helen Comerford. All these three books are in a reading vlog already. It's an ARC reading vlog. Uh, they were all ARCs I was given at YALC last year. Um, it was a good time. It was a good time. Uh, definitely the most favorite of the three of them was the love interest i cannot wait for book two of that gimme 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 uh i think it's out next year because that one just came out this year so i'm gonna have to wait another year oh dear oh dear <laughs> um next up is cry's war and iron heart by nina varela also already in a vlog this is a i think i was referring it to like a uh, what was it <laughs> Terminator vampire kind of a deal um, in, in the medieval times. Uh, next up is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. Did a little comparison with the movie version. I think I did like the movie version more than the book, uh, but they are quite similar. So, yeah, no. Next is The Baby Plan by Emma Bennett. Did a little reading vlog for this as well. Um, it was a lot of fun. Honestly, I saw Emma's TikTok. Well, I saw it on Instagram, but I had to go on TikTok to, you know, steal the footage. Honestly, a lot of fun. Uh, such a fast read. I uh, highly recommend. I need to go see what other books of Emma's I can uh, get a hold of. And uh, we'll read more of her books, really. I highly recommend. Then we have The Mime Order on the Merits of Unnaturalness by Samantha Shannon. Uh, these are books two and I guess a pamphlet novella kind of thing uh, featured in the Bone Season. All that. Bone Season, yes, yes, yes. It's an upcoming video. It's an upcoming video. Then I have A Song of Silver Flame Like Night and Dark Star Burning, Ash Falls White by Amelie Wen Chow. Chow? <sighs> I don't know how to pronounce things, okay? It's fine. Um, Chinese mythology dragon kind of deal. I did like them. Also, some things here or there that were a bit hit and miss, but they usually are with everything, so 
not gonna lie, it's not a bad thing. It's not great, it's not terrible. We're good, we're good. We'll be featured in an upcoming vlog. And I think, yeah, last in May was uh, The Bell of Songbirds and Snakes by Susa and Collins. Now this is the prequel to The Hunger Games. It's um, an upcoming chaotic vlog. You're welcome and I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> June. So, then we have the songwriting by Samantha Shannon. Yes, continuing on with that Bone Season series. I already love that series. So many things, so many things. Gonna jump here, so I have The Art of Prophecy and The Art of Destiny by Wesley Chu. Don't know what to say about those still. <sighs> Also upcoming, ah, Ninth House and Hellbent by Lebo Dugo. Bring me book three. That is all I'm gonna say. It's the dark academia you want and need in your life. Also, bring me book three now. I don't like waiting. Thank you very much. Uh, then I started reading the first Green Creek saga, saga series. I don't know, the Green Creek book, uh, Wolf Song by TJ Clune. I don't know what to say about that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I also read Raven's Song by the way, so book one and book two. I started another new series because there's a lot of that going on. Uh, it's called The Luminaries by Susan Dennard. This is my reaction. Um, and the last book I read in June was A Tempest of Tea by Hafsa Faisal. S sorry about the names, I'm sorry, but I, I just can't. Anyway, that is kind of <laughs> that is a what was it six of crows heist but with vampires and tea and lastly for july <laughs> um july is for like two pages so bear with me here so i finished up the books in the bone season series uh so the dawn chorus and the mask falling so i've all caught up on the Boon Season um, series now. <sighs> Honestly, I bloody love that series. I cannot wait for book five. Book five? Book five? Um, which I believe is still set to come out in January 2025. Ah! Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> then I went into the Shadow Hunter world, so I read Chain of Gold, Chain of Iron, and Chain of Thro Thrones, Thorns by Cassandra Clare. It has its own thing. It has its own video. <laughs> All of these books have their own video or combined video. So uh, what am I saying? Um, and then I read The Familiar by Lee Bardugo. So now I think I've caught up on all Lee Bardugo books now. I think. I need to check on that. Uh, anyway, that's her new adult fantasy book. Is that what it's going under? I don't remember. Wow. Okay. Um, and then I read the third book in the Green Creek Saga thingy, Heart Song by TJ Clune. Yeah, it has its own thing. I'm waiting for book four. Um, it's, um, I think it's published today. I'm, edit I'm filming, editing, and uploading this on the same day. So I think August 1st, yeah. Possibly. So I'm gonna um, I have to wait for book four now. Anyway, it is technically already out, but the new covers thing. Anyway, moving on. Then I read Fatebound by Sarah Al Arifi. I read the final strife from the battle drum, um, which the third book in that series is coming out this year, sometime. This fall, I believe. Ooh, so this is a completely new series. It's interesting. Um, there's face, there's humans, there's elves, kind of. Well, that's the mythology of it all anyway, so a lot. <laughs> and then I read 19 Steps by Millie Bobby Brown, and I have thoughts, and I have... Anyway, yeah, okay. <laughs> and for some reason, I reread Five Survive by Holly Jackson. I bloody love Holly Jackson, okay? Yeah, that's all I have to say about that. It's the, Five Survive is the, the locked room mystery kind of a deal. Six teens go in, only five come out. Who will survive? Anyway, um, and then I finally, finally finished Walking on Sunshine by Giovanna Fletcher. Ah, 
I loved it, but also I think it might have been her saddest book to date. Uh, so it was a hard read, but also I kind of love it. So many words. Uh, and then I went on NetGalley. So these are, I don't know when these have come out or if, if they are out or if they're coming out later. I don't know. I don't have the facts and figures in this. I just have title and author. So uh, I read The Cross-Eyed Kitten by Judy Th Judith, Judith M. Ackerman, Wa Wacky Witches and Their Peculiar Familiars by April Suddendorf, and Lenny Among Ghosts by Frank Maria Reifenberg. Next galley vlog coming up. I don't know much to say about those except they were so. Two first one were picture books, and the uh, last, third last one was um, a novel. A very short novel. All of them like children's books thing very fast reads, um, cute, funny, all of that. And then I did another reread and I read Stardust by Neil Gaiman. Still don't know why I did that. I was just looking at my shelf, saw the book and I was like, okay, let's read it. So I did. Super fast read, by the way, surprisingly. I don't know why, but there we go. And the last couple of books are all like romance-esque books. So first up is the Roommate Experience by Elena Arma. So it's kind of a companion follow-up novel to the Spanish love deception. Cute! I like this one better than the Spanish love deception. And the four last books are all by Tessa Bailey. Yes, I have dived into that world now. So it's Secretly Yours, Unfortunately Yours, It Happened One Summer, and Hook, Line, and Sinker. All of these are... There's two two duologies, companion novel thingies. <sighs> Did any of that actually make any sense? Probably not, but I think I explained it better in that video. I don't know yet. I've not edited it. I edited it. Do 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 do. Blah 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 blah. Can you tell I've not been filming properly for a bit? <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Anyway, so that was a whole lot of books I have been reading for the past like three months. Tell me in the comments down below, uh, how has your reading been in the last, well, month, three months, whenever, or just the last week or day? I don't know. How's, how's your reading? So, thank you so much for watching, I shall see you all next time, the next video should be my mid-year freakout tag, um, I'm about to go film it right now, I'm just gonna edit this and I need to charge the battery apparently because my battery is dying, yay, anyway, thank you so much for watching, I shall see you all next time, until then take care, bye bye!